Okay, on this page of the project, um, it's our first page, we're, we're asked to fill in some parts of a single payment loan. Now notice I've changed the numbers, so don't just write down the numbers I write down here, but follow the steps to find the correct answer. Now on this loan that I have as my example, the original balance of the loan is $7,000. Um, it has an 8% interest, but they're allowing you two payments on this, so they've split the payment rate in two, and our payment rate is going to be 4% for each payment. So when you take a look at a spreadsheet like this, um, we have our first payment here. Now they've divided the two payments up as equally as they could without rounding. Notice those are both very close. The first payment is $3,711.38. We want to know how much of that went to interest and how much of that went to the reduction of principal or making the amount we owned owed smaller. Part of it is interest, the other part actually pays off our loan. To know how much payment you're making to interest, what you do is you take the current balance of the loan, so when we're starting, which is what we have on this first payment, when we're starting we owe the full $7,000. We multiply that by the rate, our rate is um, 4%. Okay, so we take 7,000 times 0 .04, and that gives us 280. So at that point, we would owe $280 in interest. So our payment to interest here would be $280. How much did we reduce the principal? Well, our payment was set. We were set to pay $3,711.38, but 280 of that went to principal. So how, or excuse me, to interest. So how much do we have left to go to principal? We take the payment amount, $3,711.38, and we subtract the amount of interest. Okay, so 280 was taken out for interest and didn't make a difference in our balance. Um, the amount that's left to actually pay down our loan is $3,431.38. So that's the number I put right here. Now they put um, the balance of the loan here, which should be accurate. It should be 7,000 minus the amount we put here should give us our number here. Okay, so then we go to the second payment. So we wait in a while and we go finally to make a second payment. We want to finish paying this off. Um, so, but we have to make this full payment of $3,711.37. We need to know how much of that is going to go to interest. Again, you take the current balance, so not your payment amount, but the current balance of the loan, which we'll find right here. After that first payment, we still had $3,568.62 left on the loan. So to find our amount of interest, we take that amount that was left owed on the loan times our rate of 0 0.04. When we do that, we get $142.74. Okay, so here we have 142.74. Actually, 75 if I round up. <laughs> okay, um, how much of that, what our payment was a reduction of our principal amount? Well, again, you take your amount of your payment, which again was $3,711, but this time it was 37 cents. Subtract from that the amount of your payment that went to interest, so just went to the company because they allowed you to use their money. Now we would hope, and it did come out that way, that it takes away the rest of our loan, and it does. The balance on the loan was 
$3,568.62, and that's exactly the amount of principal we reduced. So that when we put these two together, we've paid off our full $7,000 plus this much in interest if we total down. So again, to find your payment to interest, take the current balance of the loan times the interest rate. To find your reduction of principal, you take your amount of your payment and subtract the amount that went to interest.